Now this thing is absolutely the best five axis vise on the market. Boom, done. Okay. <laughs> Palette dope as me. I'm just so fresh and so fresh and so clean, clean. <laughs> oh yeah. There you go. Yeah. Gosh, I love it when the holes in my fixture line up with the holes in my table. Boom. You've got palette. Installation complete. Lock her down. And there we go, we got a tool that machine. Yes, five axis vices of greatness. So this is a fixture that we actually machined on the lathe. The part slides onto the fixture. Everything is machined perfectly to the ID of the part. You have a great amount of surface area and contact from the mandrel to the ID of the part. And then you cap it and basically rotate and machine your part complete. This is a really cool project that Titan and Stewart were working on for a five axis machine. Our Vero S system also acted as a riser in that case to bring the workpiece up higher off the table. We put these clamping pins directly into the workpiece and those clamping pins then went right into these receivers here and now we're actually clamping the workpiece directly with these three risers into the system. It was super easy to use, incredibly rigid, and it gave great access to the workpiece. So this is a fixture membrane from Shunk. It's how we clamp onto round parts on a mill, right? Now check this out. You have a clamping pin down here. 
This clamping pin is genius because you can take this pin or two pins or five or 10 pins, right? And you can hook it to pretty much any type of work holding. So shunk vices, custom tombstones, membranes like this, boom, you put the clamping pin in and then you have a locating pin right here that engages right here, okay? Now I'll just do it. Go ahead and put the air, you'll see it open. There you go. And then I'm gonna take this guy right here. I'm just gonna line it up right here. Get it nice and tight. There you go. Now it can move. I, I could take it off right now, but Stuart's gonna release the air. And, and you heard that click. This thing ain't going anywhere. So now if I had a part in here, it would just close on that part, boom. You put as many as you want on here at a time. Actually, take a look at the fixture itself. We have the Shunk Rota S Flex. This bad boy is a beast, all right? Now, we torqued it at 88 foot pounds, which puts 22,000 pounds of force on this titanium, right? 500 pounds, that's what we started off with. And now we're whittling it down. One thing I'll say is when you actually come to the side, you actually see the claw jaws digging in. 120 degrees apart from each other. I actually brought in the fixture into Mastercam. Then I did a C-plane off of this flat right here. Did a rectangle and I dimensioned it off the claw jaw. So we put the Vero S pins in. So you can see these are the clamps that actually grab that pin. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some air I'm gonna put it in here, watch, you're gonna see it move right here. Boom, it just opened. Then I'm gonna grab my base plate. I'm gonna put it down. Drop it in. And that's it, it's locked solid. So now, I can simply come in, I can bring this. Boom, put all the bolts in, lock everything down. And then I can go to the second op, lock it down. And then when I'm done, I simply can put the air in, boom, and I can just take it off. 